Here we have some of the cleaners and sanitizers that are commonly used in the home brewing and winemaking industry. Down here we have One Step, Easy Clean, and Be Bright. These are popular cleaners that are used on new equipment and equipment that's already been relatively cleaned of all dirt and debris. Very popular for cleaning your equipment five to ten minutes before using it. We have an iodine-based cleaner and we have PBW, which are recommended for stainless steel such as kegging equipment and brew kettles. Uh, it's important to note that iodine-based cleaners shouldn't be used on plastic because they can stain. Here we have the Starsan, which is an acid-based cleaner. We would recommend that home brewers and winemakers soak all of their equipment periodically overnight. This has a foaming effect to it, which is great for getting into cracks and crevices and, and finding any bacteria that might be hiding in your equipment. We have VLC and ALC, which is a liquid line cleaner for kegging. We have the five star cleaning kit, which includes some star sand and PBW, which is a great way to become familiar with these particular cleaners. Uh, all of these cleaners and sanitizers can be used on beer and winemaking equipment alike. Uh, some of the cleaners say that you don't need to rinse. That's a topic for debate. I think most home brewers and winemakers will rinse their equipment after sanitizing it. Uh, a couple last tips about cleaning and sanitizing. One thing you can do uh, with carboys when you're done using it and in between uses, you can put a piece of tin foil over the opening. Uh, store your equipment, say in a Rubbermaid tub, just to keep dust uh, off of your equipment. And most importantly, when you're done using your equipment, when it's still wet, that is the time to clean off all of the debris. That will make cleaning and sanitizing your equipment before its next use that much easier.